Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video where I created this or helped create that. And I started thinking I'm going to probably get some slack over that video, uh, but it would still be the my preferent way to do it. The other way to do it, and you could do this pretty much with any font, we're going to left click, right click, and you see the, the part we need to weld. So we need to do like we just did in the last video, break it apart and then select it all again and convert it to a curve so we can weld it so those pieces are gone. And then we're gonna make that font white by left-clicking our mouse. And then we need to go to our pen tool and we, you know, you have your pen tool in many places and uh, we can change that from a hairline to two points and we have that white or that black. Maybe the one I've got in example is a little bit thicker so we'll go three points, and if we look at them side by side, I just, I like the contour method. Uh, I think you have a little bit more control, uh, but that's just my personal preference. So let's look at them side by side. And, and just because I just don't have it quite a thick enough outline yet, but we can make that outline thicker by just changing the point. I think four might do it, maybe even. And then, like I said in many videos, you go from four to eight. Well, if you want six, you just type in six and it'll make it six, but that's too much. So let's try five, still too much. And see, this is the part I really like the other method because I've got a little bit more control. You're gonna have some sharper uh, like right here, you get a flat edge where you have a sharp edge. So I think my other way is still the better way, especially uh, if you look at these uh, letters when they're getting closer together. But if you're using just a thinner base line, it wouldn't really have a preference because it's going to be the same. Anyway, hope that helps.